guys, welcome back. This video is one of those videos that you must watch if you want to become artists. This is a simple concept, but one of those really important messages. Now, we've talked about a couple of these that I said that they're absolute musts. The first one is that pupils must be the same size or you have a head injury. If a pupil is bigger, okay, so we have the eye, and the pupil is larger on one side, call an ambulance. This person has just been hit on the head, and they are not happy. Today's video is one of those concepts that you must know. The second concept that I gave you that is a must, there is no getting around it, is the direction of light. So you have a cylinder, the light is always going to go this direction when it is a cylinder. It's because of the way the light spins on the cylinder. It goes around. So the light is always this way. If you bend that cylinder over and say that cylinder breaks. Okay? And it just flopped itself over. Your light would then change at the bend and you may have a light that goes this way. But that's the only time. Cylinders are a must. When you look at your pictures, arms are cylinders, uh, legs are cylinders, fingers are cylinders, necks are th cylinders. Anything that is long has the light going in this direction. So that was an important point because that's just a rule of life in the way nature has light hitting things. This is a third concept that you must know. There are two types of lines in art. One is the hard line and one is the soft line. And they're very important. And I'm going to start with the hard line. A hard line is a line that separates one object from another. So you have a circle and then a square right here where this line is, is a hard line. You now can see that there is a square and a circle in there. Coloring books are linear pictures. They all have lines. So here you're going to have a candy cane, okay? And you have all these lines create a barrier from the red, the white, the red, the white, the red, the white, the red. And there's this black line in between. Okay? They're linear. They're not natural. So hard lines are natural and they're unnatural when they're in a linear picture. A example of a hard line, say, on a face would be the eye. So here you have the eye and okay, and you have it, the water line going there. This water line separates from the face, it sticks out. So it's going to be a hard line. But here you have the nose and everybody draws on their nose. Okay. And they draw it on as a hard line when actually the nose is actually formed by just shading. It's a soft line. Okay. There are different 
structures on the face, but it all sort of melds into themselves. There's no distinction. Okay, you have lips. How many people draw their lips like that? There's not really much of a difference between the skin tone around the lips and the actual lips. But everybody seems to feel they need to outline the lips. And that's where coloring books lead you astray. The best coloring books are the ones that have very little guidelines in them. Now, if you could be looking for a portrait, the last thing you want on the face, and unfortunately, a lot of coloring book artists do this, and good coloring book artists have destroyed their artistic work by putting in shading. And did you ever see this? That they want to put in a shadow on the cheeks, and they go like this. Well, that kind of sucks. Because you can't, like, what do you do with those lines? I'm now moving forward with some of my more advanced students into a more natural way of doing art. And the more natural way of doing art is not to put the hard lines in. Things have soft lines. So, of course, I'm working on a light board and I have a magic marker, which you can't really demonstrate. My next video is going to demonstrate the hard and soft line. So you have an object and say it's the, the moon. The best way to do the moon and the most natural way to do a moon in the sky is not to have that line. Make that line disappear. So you could see here, having no line there will meld, well, sort of, will, it'll meld the color into the background in a softer way. From now on, I'm going to be talking about things in the terms of hard and soft lined. Now there are a couple of other terms, but they're not really used as often. Um, one would be a lost line, and a lost line is a line that is formed when you have two objects, two distinct objects, but they're colored so closely in the same color or the same value that you lose the distinction between the two objects. The two objects would sort of meld into the other and while you can kind of see a tonal difference, now when would you see a lost line? Well, in a shadow. You would see a tonal difference from the harshness of the solid object into the blackness of the well, into the blackness of the shadow or the darkness. In a forest scene, as your trees meld into the background, there's going to be less of a distinction between the trees and more into what would be in between them. And then you have an object which is up front, which is your focal point. That would have harder lines because this color would be it would blunt itself off so an object can be a have a hard line now where would else would I use a hard line where else would I use a hard line well where else would I use a hard line well How about the shoulder? You would have the outline of the body 
would blunt off right here and go into it wouldn't meld into the background it would cut off from the background so for now on I'm gonna treat you like real art students and you have to use the right terms we're gonna talk about things in reference to a hard line versus a soft line now we've been working on the picture from Sherry Baldy and I'll show you the bad picture okay here's the picture that we're working on from Sherry Baldy this is the one that I did to describe what not to do so you've got the dress she put in these hard lines here which means you're never going to have a natural look on the dress I'm going to show you in my next video how to get the soft waves and get rid of those kind of disguise those lines so you can work around it so this is going to be a very important concept and that's why I'm putting it in an extra video that I will mark with a star and I will see you guys tomorrow take care bye bye